Hey folks, dude here, and well, this is basically going to be a first time out, and I now have got, of all things, a webcam, uh, and also I got the new blue microphone. Oh, blue microphone. Uh, I don't know if this thing's really going to have a lot of reverb or not, so I'm going to give this thing a test run and see how things go from there, but basically today's video is going to be, okay, tragedy at large, um, this, I I'm going to say what this is truly, and at its most uh, honest... Well, it, it, the most honest way in which I can state it, okay? Basically, what this is, this is what happens when liberalism runs awry. In society at large, it is not this, okay? And it has been safety checked. It is loaded because an unloaded firearm is basically useless. Smith & Wesson 19, two and a half. Damn good little piece of kit. Love this thing. Pinned, recessed. It's basically harmless, okay? This thing, without my finger going in the trigger guard, will not hurt anybody. It's an inanimate object, okay? Let me reach back here, grab up something else. A Tecna knife, okay? Between these two objects, they are not harming anybody. These are inanimate objects. Liberals, <laughs> liberals want to regulate this, but this is just perfectly fine because this is a, well, a CQB, close-up and personal, need to be in the immediate vicinity to do anybody in with it, as opposed to distance, standoff, and uh, obvious deadly interaction they're in with uh, living things because it's a pistol. Pistols are so much more deadly than this, even though this has been killing people time immemorial. Let me just set this off to the side. But today's tragedy... I blame liberalism, okay? I do not blame the school. I do not blame the teachers. I blame liberals. And the reason why I blame liberals is for the very simple reason that there was no uh, concealed carry on board. There was no people that could basically drop this piece of crap. And you get what you get when you have liberals. They insert themselves as the uh, the do-all, be-all, end-all solution to all the world's problems. They'll fix everything. Everything's going to be just spiffy. Just be sure to listen to only them. If you listen to anybody else, you're a racist, you're a bigoted, you're a homophobe, you're a sexist, you're this, that, and the other thing, and that's their buzzwords, okay? It's dishonest, and it's completely specious and arbitrary what you're stating is in the simplest possible terms my argument has now been rendered moot because you're saying that i hate person a of another particular group it doesn't make any difference to the fact they're full of crap they're lying their ass off and they're trying to insert something to society that is not good now as for this sexist bigoted homophobe whatever crap it's buzzwords, all right? Remember something very important about buzzwords. If you're a student of history and you read up about things like this, you know the way of the Nazis. Those guys were socialists, okay? Anybody that basically tries to claim all this other crap about, you know, oh, well, you're a Nazi. You know what? When a liberal calls somebody a Nazi, it's the biggest form of hypocrisy on the freaking planet. Because when you do the translation of the actual name of the Nazi party, it was a... Uh, Abbreviation of uh, National, um, was it uh, Arborite Deutsche you know, Basically, what it was it was the National Socialist Party of Germany. Look it up, okay? There's no way to really contest that. Liberalism is based on socialism, which is a lesser form of communism. It's a little bit more fascist, if there is such a thing as a less fascist form of something other than communism. Be honest with these terms when somebody says they're progressive they're not what they are is they're trying to insult an ism that's like that old cartoon right there i'm gonna put the link right frickin there that's right anytime you try to insert an ism into society no good can come from it and i'm not gonna go on about like victims and all the rest of this happy horse stuff but every single time a person is gunned down in large groups and nobody stops it that's liberalism. That's what you get when you have absolute control by a small group of people in D.C. as opposed to in the area where it needs to be interacted upon. Now, that guy in Colorado, he could have been dropped. If somebody was carrying CCW and they engaged him after the first two shots and popped him square in the frickin' face, things would have stopped in a big hurry. This thing that just happened out in Connecticut... Notice these happen in very, very liberal areas, okay? 
Uh, Connecticut is basically a suburb of New York City, okay? There's a lot of very rich liberals. Danbury, which is pretty much about 12, 14 miles away from this actual tragedy occurred, is not too far in proximity to New York City and Staten Island. It's just across the water. Look it up on the map, folks. I'm not BSing you. This is an extremely liberal area. They really tend to have probably not a lot of concealed carry there because they feel it's just perfectly safe. They're in a great state. None of this stuff could ever possibly happen because we've regulated things to such a degree we are safe. Well, it's like the old classic line from Jefferson. Those who would give up a little liberty for a little security deserve neither. Okay? And that's that's it, plain and simple. Cut and dry. No BS. If you're going to basically sell out your liberties to ensure that somebody else is going to insure it for you, you're screwed and you're stupid to believe their lies. Because right off the bat, the police have gone to court a number of times and they said, okay, uh, well, you were supposed to protect you know, Joe Blow, because Joe Blow was under uh, serious duress and threat and what have you, and all this other happy horse mess. And uh, what it came down to being is they went to court, and what happened was is they said, okay, let's just verify this right off the bat. Uh, oh, sorry. Police are entitled and enabled to protect society at large, not any one particular individual. Translation, uh, if you were the victim, oh, well, too bad. Happy to you. We're safe in our patrol cars with firearms, but none for you, you stupid peasants. Now, that's the other thing, too. It's, it's completely, classically, absolutely dishonest. When you rely on a liberal to do anything, and you can look up the charter of the DNC, I don't care what anybody says. I've been friended a couple people today, and I don't give a flip. All right? Anybody that comes in on my, well, my Facebook or on my YouTube channel, and they start certain this stuff about, well, I only think, you know, partially liberals okay i'm i'm kind of more half and half it's like you know what if you're any liberal i don't want a damn thing to do with you okay if you pour dirty water into clean water you're getting dirty water plain and freaking simple if you're going to try to dilute my message are you going to try to do something that i choose not to even deal with i refuse to associate with you anymore done I just looked up on my channel. People go, well, you know, your channel's really glowing, this, that, the other thing. I have over 1,600 freaking people that are blocked. Why? Because I don't do conspiracy theories. I do not deal with liberals, and I don't deal with jerks. Plain and simple, okay? If you're going to try to insert your crap on my channel or my Facebook page, you're done. You're, you're just done, okay? And this goes far and away from me trying to basically, you know, pump up, uh, you know, various things that I have going on. I'm not going to name my name because I don't want to basically, you know, muddy the waters or blur things around. I just basically, guys, want to insert my message from me. Me. Ace Podcast Channel, Dude Jerky. I'm trying to insert my message, not anybody else's, okay? If you're a liberal and you think that you could be, well honest in self-introspection that you're only a little liberal and you're trying to actually fix things that's like trying to say you're only a little bit pregnant okay it's completely freaking dishonest you are deluding yourself to say that you're gonna be only a little liberal and everything will be working out just great you're gonna fix things because well you know those parts that really matter you're just conservative just enough that's crap, okay? I don't want any part of, you know, anything that you have to say. Your message is completely buggered in my regard, and I don't even want to have a damn thing to do with you. Because basically, what you're going to do by inserting yourself in my realm of influence, you're going to dilute it. And I don't want anything to do with that. Because I just don't see you as intellectually honest. And that's it in a nutshell. If you're going to say that socialism, communism, uh, progressivism, all this other ism is something that's good for society, take a look over in Europe. Okay? Take a look over in Europe. See how they're doing now. They said that they're so inclusive, so progressive, that they're allowing Sharia... Well, I want to really say something else. But they're allowing Sharia-type Sharia people to take part in their society... Put up the minarets. Basically, all these other things that they are now saying is just perfectly ducky. You guys could do it without a single question, because if we did question it, we'd be racists. Uh, also notice in France, these guys are now so emboldened that the French are backing down from these guys that moved into their country. 
Not like it basically was anything like they were from the place, but they moved in. And then once they moved in, they set their roots up, raised up the minarets, and said, oh, this is our neighborhood now. You don't belong. Get out, Mr. Infidel. Take off. You have no reason to be here. All right, so I'm, I'm not going to go roundy round too terribly long. Of course, it's the first video with the webcam. And, of course, I'm, I'm not going to waste your guys' time, but, you know, going all circular. It is what it is, okay? And I'm not going to get my normal sign-off because, again, I'm doing a rant just like I did on, you know, the Arab Spring video. I'm just ranting. But I am going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm going to try to do it with a minimum of cussing, and I'm going to try to do it in such a way that you can actually play this thing with other people around and not be embarrassed. All right, folks, so uh, I'm going to do, well, not my standard sign-off. Keep your powder dry. Keep your heads down. Get CCW if you're allowed. Watch your six. Watch out for your buddies. Watch out for your neighbors. Hopefully we'll all go on forward, but God's blessings. <sighs> See ya.